Hey, what's up? David with Brazos Valley Barbell. So things are starting to gear up for me in my training for IPF Worlds in June. I'm totally past any limitations from pain, and I'm back to where I should be as far as my strength levels at this point in my training. So it's just time for me to build and get ready. One thing that's standing out to me beyond the rest right now is how much I should appreciate the position I'm in. When I say appreciate, I don't want it to sound like it was given to me or that it was something that I didn't have to fight for. I did. But I'm in a position where I'm the only person in my weight class that had over a thousand lifters compete in the USAPL alone this last year that was nominated to travel to Sweden to represent the Federation and myself on the highest stage possible. As I've increased in the rankings and improved my standing and gained more of an audience, I receive the question a lot more frequently about lifters curious if they have the talent to make it to a high level. That level might mean different things to different people. It could mean winning your weight class at a local meet, qualifying for nationals or prime time at nationals, a certain placing at those bigger events, or setting a record. But I think people are asking the wrong question. To me, the question should not be, do I have the talent? It should be, do I have the work ethic? And that question is a lot harder because the answer reflects on the individual. It might be ironic for me to say that I don't feel like I'm the most talented lifter because of what I've achieved, but I do feel like there are plenty of people who are much more physically talented than I am. I started lifting regularly in the eighth grade because of sports. I remember lifting in gym class and not being able to bench press the empty barbell when everyone around me could. This put me in the lowest possible group to train with in the gym, not a place I wanted to be. So in the eighth grade, I started going to the weight room at my school every morning, an hour before school, in order to lift. I made a decision that I didn't want to be where I was and started working to change it. I didn't ask at the moment if I had the physical gifts to be good at sports. I just saw that I was bad at something and I changed it. I started lifting because I was bad at it and just never stopped because I liked that I had control over the outcome. The challenge for most people is that we naturally want to find a scapegoat or other places to place blame. Saying that we just aren't talented enough is easy because it's something inherent that isn't our fault. Hearing that you don't have the innate ability might actually be easier for a lot of people than hearing that you might have the ability, but you have to fully commit yourself. The main criticism of what I'm saying is that people say if they only knew how far they would get that the work would be easier. I wholeheartedly disagree. From coaching in person at Brazos Valley Barbell, I've worked with many super talented young lifters that come in, show huge amounts of promise, and then fade away because it takes hard work and they face setbacks. More than that, we all view success as the level that's just above where we are now. People look at the level that's just in front of them and say, well, if I got there, the work would be worth it. And then you reach that level and there's always another one just out of reach. When you qualify for nationals, you'll look at how many people there are between you and a primetime spot. You'll look at the guys in primetime and say, if I was only there, I would be happy. But everyone in that group is fighting for a single spot at the top. And I can tell you that achieving that spot doesn't stop the struggle. I don't sit in the position that I am and say that I'm happy with what I've accomplished and that now I can stop worrying about how good I am. Now the question is, can I keep pace with everyone around me and continue to get better or will I fall away from the top? The doubt and the pressure that I feel is the same frustration that people feel at every level of the sport. Just this last weekend, I watched Tiger Woods achieve what almost everyone said he would never do again. Tiger won his fifth Masters and his 15th Major after struggling through years of personal life problems and many injuries. Tiger is undoubtedly one of the most talented golfers of all time, achieving unparalleled success through the early part of his career. That all fell apart, culminating to a divorce, numerous surgeries, a painkiller addiction, and a DWI arrest. It had been more than 10 years since Tiger's last major victory, and in that time, the sport had changed. Tiger's early success brought rise to a new, new generation of incredibly talented golfers playing in their prime. The best golfer of all time had fallen out, been hurt, life collapsed, and everyone in his field had overtaken him. Just last year, Tiger personally expressed doubts that he would ever play again, much less win a major. But he never stopped working, and now accomplished a win that was more challenging than any of his previous wins. Tiger had every reason and opportunity to stop, and no one could have blamed him. There were numerous occasions on his comeback that he would play and look terrible. He would say he was healthy, but his game was just not right. It would have been easy for Tiger to say that he had accomplished enough and that it wasn't worth the effort anymore. There was a good chance that he would put in all the hours and pain and frustration and never win again, but he absolutely would not have known that if he didn't put in those hours. Our sport is growing and changing just like Tiger's. There are more and more talented lifters out there, and there will be only more as time goes on. If you spend time worrying about what ifs and giving yourself outs, you can guarantee you won't accomplish anything. 
You will have setbacks. You will have stagnant and frustrating training, but so will the people that you're trying to beat and emulate. The difference is they won't stop. Don't expect for the path to be easy. It's the difficulty that makes it worthwhile. The return to glory.